Hey everybody, it's Chris from CRT Sports Cards with a recap video of our recent SGC order, which included five T212 cards or OBAX and then one T206 card. The T212 cards are the Seattle cards and a lot of them are gonna be actually on that sign right there. I sent uh, Vinny a couple of scans before they were graded and he put them on that sign right there. So you'll see a couple uh, here shortly. Uh, on SGC, I am a big proponent of theirs. Uh, number one, the cost is very inexpensive. I think it's like 10 bucks a card for uh, 20 days. These cards were a little late, which was which was interesting, interesting but I do know that they're, they're backed up at the moment, so no big deal. And these cards are not going anywhere. They're not, they're not picking up uh, value uh, every single day, so I was okay with the, uh, with the short delay. Also, we'll cover a couple pickups I had, raw pickups for my T206 set, but we'll do that at the end. But uh, let's, let's get to uh, the first card here. So number one is the, is the graded A for Authentic. This is Johnson. Let me get this to center up here. Oops. So I bought this raw on eBay and it is, I think on the right side, it's a little bit uh, trimmed and you can probably see it there in the video, but overall, I do like the, uh, the pinstripe and the tree in the background. And this one in the back, there are 35 different slogans for Obax, and this one is nothing like them. If I get this to focus, nothing like them. These are all from Series 2. From These are all from 1910 Series 2 of Obax. The Series 3 ones have player stats. Uh, the second one up is Lynch. This one was previously a PSA 1. And it was pretty poor, oops, if I can get this to focus. So I cracked that out. And as you can tell, obviously, all beat up, so, you know. But I do like his, his look. And like I said earlier, his, uh, in an earlier video, he does have, to, someone wrote Tacoma, and scratched his name, or Seattle out, put Tacoma there. But this one on the back is gonna be convenient, sensible. I think this is one of the most common slogans on the back. I don't really have a back ranking altogether, but. This one is convenient, sensible. Next up is Hall, SGC1. Oops, get this to uh, go straight here. Again, trees in the background, pinstripe uniforms. Absolutely love it. And the back on this one is high quality. And someone wrote the number three in the O on O back sometime uh, many, many years ago. This next one was also a PSA a conversion before it was a PSA 2. It is now an SGC 1.5. So people all the time say that SGC will upgrade your cards. In this case, for example, this was a downgrade. Why will it not focus? There we go. I was actually a little surprised by the the grade, uh, original grade of this one from PSA being a, one, being a 2, because it does look a little dirty. So I thought that grade was was uh, very beneficial. So you can tell it just looks a little dirty on the side or all around the card. And this one on the back is for exacting smokers. And you can see my uh, cat hair right there. I cannot get rid of. So Ivy is making her presence in this video again. Uh, Frisk, this next one was also a PSA conversion. This was a PSA two. And it is now an SGC 1.5. Get this to focus again real quick. Nothing in the background, pretty plain, but there again, pinstripe uh, uniforms, glove in the back pocket with the, uh, with the bat. And this one has writing on the back. Can't, really hard to tell what it says but this one is wonderfully good. If I can get this to focus. I think it says mud or muddle, something up there, but uh, wonderfully good. So those are the five uh, T2, T212 OBACs for my Seattle team set. That takes us to 11 of the 28. A lot of the ones I still haven't even seen. So pretty close to 50%, but this is a, a mini year project uh, that we're working on. Our loan, T206 card is one that I picked up raw and came back a SGC3. This is 
Barney Pelty doesn't want to focus. He's going to get to pull out a little bit. There we go. This is one of six horizontal cards. And, you know, one of the rarest ones, or not the probably the most expensive at one time because of the hoard, you know, that was out there that was sold. But these are becoming a little more prevalent. But this is just a very simple Piedmont back, Piedmont 150. And it will display nicely on our shelf back there. Now a couple of raw pickups for this week when it comes to our binder set. First one here is, I just picked it up because of the look. I think his look is just fantastic. I mean, this is McIntyre, obviously all beat up, but the hair, the collar, everything about it is great. I just picked it up just because of that. This is just a very simple Piedmont 350 back. Uh, this is not available in Polar Bear, but the the look of him in the card is just phenomenal. And the last one is what we consider an Elite 11 card. This is Ewing. Number one, the card is just great with the colors, the background, the sunset. But this is one of the, from looking at uh, all of the research, the uh, it's considered a an Elite 11 because it's really only available in a 150 back. There are very few uh, available not in uh, 150. And you can see here someone wrote 271 on the back. I'm not exactly versed that well into the ins and outs of the Elite 11. This is one of the three that was added after they had the Elite 8. But overall, from a visual perspective, I think it's a great looking card and a great binder ad. So there we go, guys. That's that's our video for the week. Uh, six graded pickups. I'll include a photo of the shelf. Oh, actually, the shelf is back here with them added. The bottom row is for our Seattle players, and the middle row is our T206 Hall of Fame collection. But we will have the Pelty join that row just because I think it displays so well. As always, guys, thanks for the comments. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and please subscribe to the channel. Have a great one.